It's a while since I've been on Fleet Street, but a lot of my mates are still there. I don't know that they would ever get to that point that I've just described. Because at that point, why don't they just stop it? Here's eight pages about their latest project, which we hate. There's absolutely nothing requiring you to write about these two. All right? Literally nothing. So why do they? Answer, because they are selling more and more papers by making you hate them. To which the question then becomes, why do you let them do that? I don't hate them because of the newspapers. I don't even read a newspaper. Yeah, well, come on. Where, 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 what is your knowledge of their behaviour based on? How do you know what goes on behind closed doors? Where is that information coming from? You've got, you've got, oh, I see you've got, you've got a bug, have you? In, in their Californian sitting room. You've got a top snout, have you? A top source. Their chauffeur rings you up every Tuesday evening and gives you chapter and verse on what it is they've been up to lately. How do you know? Answer, because people who are paid to report on the royal family have put that information, whether it's true or not, into the public sphere. So you rely entirely upon the people who rely entirely upon the palace for their livelihoods. Uh, a royal correspondent who is not in favour is not going to be a royal correspondent for very long. Now, I personally don't mind that system in the sense that it is symbiotic. It serves the purposes of both institutions, and they are neither institutions that I have a problem with in principle, either the royal family. Well, actually, probably slightly more of a problem with the royal family because it just... It bakes deference into our system, and, and although the royal family, most of them are not problematic. It's a system that allows someone like Jacob Rees-Mogg to masquerade as superior to you, which is obviously absurd, but against the backdrop of a royal family, anybody who, who, who walks the walk and talks the talk, however confected it may be, um, can, can achieve deference. You can have people think, oh, yes, he knows what he's talking about. He's got eight plums in his mouth. Although we're probably going to run out of plums at some point in a not-too-distant future if the last hour was anything to go by. So... Why, why do they do it? Why do the newspapers that claim to hate them, and that do hate them, and r claim to want them to shut up and go away, like Gavin Williamson told the Russians to do after the attempted, after the poisonings in, in, in Salisbury? Why do the newspapers that answer it sells papers? What sells papers? Hate sells papers. Who does the hating? The people that read the stories, whether they're getting them from the papers or not. It's all the same trough in which your little noses are immersed. So what's the pleasure? Where's the fun from? Why, why, why is it so easy to encourage people to hate these two? Answer, they make you feel really stupid. Whether you realise it or not, I heard some of Nick's callers today, and the levels of anger are absolutely ridiculous. They make you feel really, really stupid. And rather than focus upon how stupid they make you feel, you're going to accept the invitation to get furious. And do you know who really feel stupid about them? The newspapers. Because what they've done is simply refuse to dance to the newspaper's tune. Sorry, lads, not, not having it. Not going to give you pictures of my newborn baby. Not gonna, and, and the newspapers then are not keeping their end of the deal. We're not going to just walk a tightrope of respect and, and privacy. We're going to treat you like subhuman scum, the way that we write about you, and especially your wife your foreign wife with a dark skin. Sorry, pal. You decide to stand up to Fleet Street, then you will, you will suffer the wrath of all of us, especially the people that rely upon the palace for their livelihoods. So why do you hate them so much? Well, because they're selfish and manipulative. And da 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 Sorry, where are you getting your information from? I'm getting it from the newspapers that they stood up to and refused to be cowed by. Oh, I see. So how many other points in your life have you taken your opinion from the victims of courage? How many times in your life have you let the bullies tell you what to think about the people that they were bullying who stood up to them? So here's a bully. Here's a victim of bullying. The victim stands up to the bully, and you've decided that the bully's version of events must be the one that's true. Not only is the bully's version of events the one that's true, I am now going to join the bullies.